Hey, welcome back into Good Day Kid, uh, Cooking. We're here with uh, Chef Mary Grace from the Village Tavern. Always great to have oh, you in. You she is teaching me. you how to make one of their signature dishes, the shrimp and grits. I know everybody has their own style. Yes. How do you start with yours? So basically, of course, we you um, you know we start with really great ingredients. We use Anson Mills grits. It's an heirloom grits from South Carolina. Oh, okay. And also, we use Greer cheese. Typically, the normal cheddar, Monterey Jack, or something like that. So, right now, I, ha I have this um, water boiling. So, um, so make sure you put your grits while it's boiling, not when it's not. It's important, it's is it important not to just dump it in. Like you yes, can, exactly, yeah. slowly, mm -hmm. so that it's, it's not going to be clumpy. You season it with salt and white pepper, pretty much. And we'll and have the measurements for you on the recipe. Yes. So this one, it will take 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Right. So you, you only, you cook the grits in water for 20 to 25 minutes until, you know, until it's kind of, you know, softened it up. I, I think most self-respecting Southerners <laughs> know what the texture should be yes, like Yes, exactly, on some grits. Right, exactly. So, so then where so do we go? After 25 minutes, so this will be, you know, kind of, it's ready cooked. Then you add your pretty much your cheese with it. Okay. Pretty much cheese and butter, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, cheese and butter, that's yes. it. Yes, right. rear cheese. So that's how we got our lots, thickness. Yes, yeah, so lots of cheese. Gotcha, all right. So now, you know, we start off with our hot pan for our, sh you know, we're gonna saute our shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we put some oil, then garlic, and of course shrimp cooks in two minutes. Yeah. So you put your shrimp right away, it will turn pink, you put also your mushrooms. Now, was that about was that about a tablespoon of minced garlic there? Yes. Or, okay. Yes. So yeah, and you can add some more. So let's move it over here in the center, because it will take around a good you know, a good two minutes to cook all these down. Especially, especially if it's a hot mushroom. pan, and you're looking for yes. that orange color on each side. Yes, right? exactly. Because okay. you don't want to overcook it, because also, you know, it's going to be gummy. Right. So. Nothing worse than gummy shrimp. Exactly. Exactly. So while uh, this one's also cooking, you can also put your white wine right now. Oh, now, what is the purpose of the white wine? It's, it, it, it's actually part of the sauce. Okay. Yes. So re you, um, you reduce your white wine and until also the, the shrimp will also turn these kind of pan steaming it. Gotcha. Okay. Much. So next will be, of course, when the shrimp is cooked, so uh, when the shrimp is cooked, um, with the let's say for the magic of TV. Right, because the because the, the white wine would have been reduced down a little bit yes. more. You wouldn't want it like that. Yes. So yeah. you put your crispy bacon. Mm -hmm. So how do you cook your bacon at home? Um, well, I you know I, now in the oven because it makes less yes. of a mess. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the best way mm -hmm. to you know to cook your bacon pretty much, especially nowadays. You know you could get anything pre-made and everything. Sure. So next is our seasoning. We season it with salt and black pepper and also Texas peat. If you want Tabasco, that's fine as well, but mm -hmm. you know, Texas peat from North Carolina. Um, uh, Village Tavern is also. Yes, that's know, where they originated. I yes, got you. originally okay. from North Carolina. And that's pretty much it. Let it simmer until the shrimp is cooked. I like that extra kick though. That's yes, what, you yeah, know. it's like a little, little bang, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then pour your grits in the plate and then arrange your shrimp around it, um, garnish it with scallions and parsley. All right, I want to uh, ask you real quickly though, you may have already mentioned it in this part of our creaminess, did we, did we add some cream in here? Oh yes, we, we, we ah. do add some cream. See, That's I pay attention, the heavy cream. cream. So we, after the grits is cooked, you put the cream, the butter, and the Gruyere cheese. And we're looking at a three-quarter cup? A cup. Cup. Okay, all right, that's how Is we got it? our cream. You see, yep. I, uh, I knew something. Thank you. We, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not as she's she's the best, oh, no, best no. around. All right, so hey, if you want this recipe, we'll have it posted later on uh, the WBRC Fox News app. I'll also try to get this on my Facebook page if you want to take a look. But this is delicious. The shrimp and grits from the Village Tavern. Chef Mary Grace, we do appreciate oh, it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Me. Look at that finished product. Does that not look delicious? We'll be right back.